Hey teachers. So a lot of us are taking our classrooms from the real world and having to turn it into digital classrooms. So I've prepared for you some tips and tricks to help turn your classrooms into digital classrooms. Number one, internet. Nobody likes technical difficulties. And one way to avoid a lot of the common problems like lag or buffering or whatever is to just plug your device straight into the internet instead of using wireless. Number two, background. It's nice to have a cheerful and non-distracting background behind you. Something to keep in mind, um, it's better to have a background that's against a flat wall or a corner instead of against a doorway, a window, or an open room. Number three, lighting. <clears throat> so it's nice to have your face lit up so that your students can see you and see your facial expressions and what you're talking about. Um, you certainly don't want to have a window behind you or a light source behind you because that um, silhouettes you and then no one can see your facial expression. Um, some things to consider are turn your lights on in the room and um, replace your light bulbs instead of using yellow warm light, use bright white lights. And um, another thing to try is you can just take one of your lamps that you have in the living room and pull the shade off and place it behind your camera in front of your face. And that light will just um, brighten up the what's being video recorded. All right, number four, sound. It's best to have some headphones with a microphone attached. If you just use the microphone that's attached to your computer, your students can hear all the noise that's happening in your room and in your house and outside of your house. Um, but if you use this little, a little microphone that's attached, it will just pick up your voice and it will eliminate a lot of that background noise. Now, a setup like this is preferred over like AirPods or um, iPod ones that have the microphone down here. A microphone here really helps you have a nice clear voice in your digital classroom. Number five, the mouse. It's preferable to have a mouse that is a detached or a wireless mouse versus um, using your trackpad because when you use your trackpad um, to toggle between stuff that you're sharing on your screen, it wiggles your camera and is a little distracting. So it's better if you use something separate. Number six, mute. A lot of us have notifications that come through on our phones and on our computers, but remember that if your um, computer is notifying you for like every email or reminders, your students can hear those reminders. So you wanna set your reminders to silent or mute for your sessions. And finally, number seven, keep it level. So you want your camera to be level with your face and your eyes. A good suggestion is to just take a box or a shoe box and put your laptop on top of it. That way your camera is right here instead of getting this like double chin action all through class. All right, those are all my tips and tricks. I hope that this helps you set up your digital classroom. Bye.